the SNP could end up on just 10 seats once all the votes are counted. Alex Salmond has torn into Nicola Sturgeon and the SNP after a devastating exit poll for the Scottish Nationalists. The BBC slash ITV slash Sky survey published as polls closed at 10 p.m. on Thursday showed the party could drop to as few as 10 seats. The exit poll suggested the SNP could lose 38 seats compared to the 2019 election. Mr Salmond, who used to lead the SNP but now leads the ALBA party, told Talk TV the result is devastating for his former party. He said, it's the slaughter of the innocents. It's a devastating reversal for the SNP. It's not to do with independence. There's plenty of London commentators crowing tonight we've seen the back of independence. But just to give you an example, when I won a landslide for the SNP in 2011 independence support was about 30%. Now independence support is 50% and the SNP are getting a complete drubbing. Well the only worse government I can think of in living memory than the SNP in Scotland over the last three or four years is the Tories at Westminster. The pair of them have been competing to be the two worst governments in history and they've both paid a heavy price. Dot asked what went wrong under the SNP's leadership, Mr Salmond said, people are asking the questions tonight is it about police investigations. And all the rest of it, but no. What it's about is the kamikaze policy of self-identification. Dot the ludicrous idea that anybody can nominate their sex at a whim, which of course came to its disgraceful denouement when they couldn't explain why a male rapist should be put into a female prison. I mean this sort of stuff doesn't go down well with anybody. I mean the number of people that support that nonsense in Scotland is in single figures. Dot Isla Bryson was convicted of rape in January 2023. The trans woman raped two women before changing gender and was locked up in a women's prison before she was moved to a male jail. It came after the Scottish Parliament passed legislation to make it easier for people to change their legally recognised sex. The Gender Recognition Reform Bill was blocked by the UK government over concerns of its impact on equalities laws which apply to England, Scotland, and Wales. He pointed to the botched bottle return scheme, scandal over unbuilt ferries and hundreds of millions of pounds of waste. Mr Salmond added, the SNP built their position not just on the cause of independence but on competence in government. Mr Salmond said, they've underpinned one of the key pillars, competence in government. Dot Nicola Sturgeon told ITV Thursday is not a good night for the SNP. She said, I think there will be a question about whether there was enough in the campaign to give out, effectively, a USP to the SNP in an election that was about getting the Tories out and replacing them with Labour. Dot Ms Sturgeon added, this is at the grimmer end of the expectations for the SNP if the exit poll is right and, from what I've said earlier on, I expect it will be.